always good at physics, chemistry and biology. At the time I had to apply for a university, I thought that biology had more opportunities for me in the future. You have to be really, really interested and really, really motivated uh, at the beginning uh, because you will just encounter so many problems and it can be quite disappointing and if you are not motivated enough, uh, you're never going to make it. I think at this stage I am capable and intelligent enough uh, for what I'm doing. Of course, there's always room for improvement. You're never bored. There's always a new challenge every day. There are always things uh, you have to improve and optimize every day. So it can be quite lonely, especially when uh, in the department there are not groups working in the same field. My name is Kunal Shah. I think I've always wanted to be in biology. I, I, I enjoyed these subjects in school. Everyone at this stage is, is very intelligent. It's more about how hard you how hard you work. Things I dislike about a PhD are often having to come in on weekends. The trend has been to make that halfway assessment occur earlier and earlier during the PhD, so often you don't have enough data to present for that. Um, you're still getting settled into your project. Um, so if that was a bit later during the PhD, it would be much more helpful, I think. Hello, my name is Ariel Poliandri. I wanted to be a biologist since I was seven. I was inspired by, by Jacques Cousteau, so I wanted to be a marine biologist. Education and good stress management. You need to be a it's very important in this country. It's got a very well-founded uh, scientific system. I think after the United States, this is the best place to, to do research. When you become more proficient in what you do, and it takes time, then you start having uh, your own space. I forgot my time. If you are working in a subject where everybody else is working, you won't feel, feel alone. Uh, like some people that work in stem cells, there are so many people working in stem cells. Sometimes you get fed up people talking about stem cells.
Well, my research is based on gene expression in the endometrium. I've been working with biopsies from women who are undergoing um, surgery. And from these biopsies, we isolate uh, endometrial cells and perform our experiments on them. If we find that we have a novel method of communication between the mother and the embryo, it might um, enable us to design certain treatments which exploit this novel pathway of communication. For example, if the, the doctors are aware that the developing uh, embryo is going to have a certain genetic uh, disorder, we might be able to use this pathway um, of communication to treat the embryo um, quite non-invasively by just treating the mother. I'm not quite sure how at the moment it might change the world, but science is always built on small steps, so My PhD project has to do with the effect of uh, omega-6 fatty acids in the pediposite development. Uh, pediposites are fat cells and uh, omega-6 fatty acids are nutrients we're getting from our diet every day. Uh, so it is very important to know what is uh, our diet, uh, basically nutrients, uh, effect on our um, fat cell development. Uh, and how diet can affect the development of obesity uh, and of course all the other um, problems that come with obesity like cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes. I put them overnight for a primary in the primary and product and now I'm washing up and putting them on the sec in the second day. Current research is on a protein uh, that we believe could be a good target uh, for a male contraceptive. We discovered this protein that is expressed in a, in a very small section of the, the male reproductive system, right? Uh, and it's only expressed there, nowhere else in the body. So it's clearly that this protein is involved in male reproduction because it's only present the male reproductive system and if they don't have the protein, they fail to reproduce. These samples came from intracellular medium and it's fine, I have protein as I expected. And these samples are from the medium where I was not expecting to see anything and yet I see a lot of protein. So I had a lot of cells that die and release the content and hopefully we could find a way to regulate the activity of the protein and maybe generate uh, uh, an equivalent of the, of the pill for men. It's getting harder and harder uh, to get a job of the qualification. The thing about PhDs is that not everyone who does a PhD wants to go into research. It's sad really, I mean, the science that the PhD students will, will, will be studying will undoubtedly have, have uh, positive impact on economic growth so um, yeah it's it's tough out there at the moment but in terms generally um, research is a good thing and it should be encouraged I think the more you find out about the world it's uh, better it will be for society. Competition is fierce. In five years I imagine myself in a permanent position. I, I don't have problems to walk out and try to find a job outside uh, academia. I would like to stay in academia. My plan is to get a postdoc position as a researcher. Maybe more? Yeah, there are more. The advice is you have to compromise with your PhD. Don't choose the one you like the most. Choose one that you like and that you know that it's on demand on you, or, or at least you believe that it will be on demand. You won't be uh, being paid a lot of the time as much as your friends might be, be being paid um, 
but at the end of the day you know that what you find during your PhD is, is unique. No one else in the world has ever seen what you see. If you're thinking about it and you really want to try it, um, try it. I mean, you won't know until you try it. So.